Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Rochelle from Rochelle Handmade Designs and in this video we will be doing more pattern options and this would be Simplicity 2012 uh, to 2013. Now before we get started, go ahead and hit the like button and the subscribe button and also turn on the notification bell so you are notified every time I upload an amazing video. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get right on into these pattern options. Now, I want to say before I start is that Starting today, July 1st, Joann's is having a pattern sell for 99 cents. July 1st through July 4th. So go ahead and make your list and make sure you are game on, go with the list and make sure you get these 99 cents patterns. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get right on into the new video. All right, so let's go ahead and get into the patterns for simplicity between the time frame of 2012 and 2013. So the very first pattern is Simplicity 1887. I picked up this pattern a very long time ago. I have seen many um, sewists do this pattern and I like it for view A on the pattern. So when I get around to this pattern, that's the pattern that I would do. This is the easy to sew. This can be used for the scoop challenge. And if I decide to do this for the scoop challenge, which I'm thinking about doing, it would be for view A. Next one is Simplicity 1897. And I wouldn't do this for the scoop challenge. This is just kind of like a summer basic flirty dress. This is the suede says. Um, I have not seen suede says since like 2012, 2013. But this came out in the summer of 20. 12 so that would could be used for the scoop challenge as well next one is 1663 and i like these it looks like some lounge pants to me so um if i decide to do this pattern which i may just do like some shorts the skirt and the pants and call it like a mini set this is an easy to sew pattern so this would be a great beginner's pattern for the scoop challenge Next one is 1665. And I like this pattern for basically every single view to do as a mini wardrobe series. So I this may be something that I would do for a mini wardrobe series during the summertime, but I would not do it as part of the scoop challenge. Next one is 1666. And I like this little dress situation, but I wouldn't use it for the scoop challenge. This may be something that you may be interested in for the scoop challenge, but it's 1666. Next one, 1873. I have seen this um, done before. Um, I wouldn't use this one for the scoop challenge as well. This has many pieces and I wanna go for something simple, but if you are interested in this pattern, it's 1873. Next one is 1881. I have seen Anita by Design do this pattern. I believe she did this view right here. Um, this is a project runway and it's kind of like a mid to match pattern to where you could take a bodice and put it on either skirt and call it a day. You could mid to match how you choose, but this is 1881 and it came out summer 2012. Next one is 1800 which is a uh, amazing fit pattern. It's a pre-fall 2012 pattern. Now this looks like a easy summer dress. I would not recommend this for a beginner or even an advanced beginner. I would recommend this for an intermediate sewist. Um, but this is Simplicity 1800. Next one is 1801. Um, this is another one of those patterns that I would not recommend for a beginner. I would recommend this for an intermediate sewist. So um, I would not do this for the scoop challenge, but this would be a basic dress that I would do like pre-fall or like a transition into pre-fall or fall because I believe on this one you would need to use some knits. Actually, you could use cotton as well. So this would be something that I would not do for the scoop challenge, but you may be interested in this pattern. Next one is 1802. Um, this one I would not use for the scoop challenge for a couple of reasons. First of all, it's like over 10 pieces. That's number one. Number two, I would not recommend this for a beginner. This is more of a intermediate into advanced sewist uh, would be able to tackle this pattern. So this is 1802. 
Next one is 1776. This is the Project Runway pattern. Now, to me, this looked like something that an advanced beginner can sew up if you are okay with doing like exposed zippers, you know, putting on some trim. This looked like a basic dress to me. So this may be our darts. If you're if you are okay with darts, you should be okay to do this pattern. I would recommend this for advanced beginner. And once again, it's one seven seven six. Next one is one seven nine six. This looked like an easy wrap dress. Um, this may be something that I would consider doing for the scoop challenge. Also, um, this has a coat shoulder. So if you part of the top series, you can do this as well for your coat shoulder. So yeah, this is one seven nine six. Next one has been on my list forever. This is 1755. I would not do this for the scoop challenge because I'm looking for something easy to do for the scoop challenge. But if I decide to do this dress, it would be something that I would actually wear towards the fall slash winter time. And it's 1755. Next one, this has been on my list forever. And I think I wanna go ahead and pull it out and do it for the scoop challenge. This is 1756. And I just love this vest. It took me forever to find this uh, pattern. Um, when I picked it up, I want to say I probably picked this pattern up back in 2014, 2015. Um, I think this was that one pattern that was hiding in the pattern drawer. I seen it and I picked it up. So this is something that's been on my list forever and I may consider doing it for the scoop challenge. It's 1756. Next one is 1611. Now this one is an easy dress to make. I would recommend this for uh, a beginner sewist. It to me it looks like a simple four patterns, and you're good to get four pattern pieces, and you're good to go. This dress is a day and night dress. Basically, you could sew one for day, one for night, and you're good to go. It came out in summer 2013, and the pattern number is 1611. The next one is 1687. Now, I have been eyeballing this pattern for a very long time to do. So this may be something that I may not get around to for the scoop challenge. Um, but what I am going to what I am doing is creating the list and prioritize my list based on how many pieces and how quickly I could get it done to always have something uh, sewn for you guys for the scoop challenge each week for the next few weeks. And this is a project runway pattern. I would not advise to do it for a beginner, but if you are an intermediate sewist, I would say that you would be able to tackle this pattern. It's 1687. And I have two of those patterns. <laughs> the next one, I do have two of these because I uh, did this for an off the shoulder, I think it was an off the shoulder dress that I did for Mimi G or off the shoulder top or something like that or a t-shirt dress or something. But this is 1693. This came out in pre-spring 2013. Um, this would be something that I would consider doing for the scoop challenge, but for view A with that uh, elastic casing at the waist area. So that would be something that I would consider doing. I'm not sure yet, but this is 1693. So the next one is 1694 and I would not do this for the scoop challenge because I have so many shirts. I don't need another shirt for the scoop challenge, but once again, it's uh, simplicity 1694. The next one is 1699. This is a so stylish pa pattern. Um, I can see this being done as a pre-spring, spring, summer wardrobe series. So this may be something that I would put in my wardrobe series. However, this is an out of print pattern. So this would be, not be something that I would do a tutorial on. I would just have it in my um, stash to use as a wardrobe builder. And that's 1699. Next one, 1650. Uh, this is a Project Runway pattern. I love it. I would not do this for the scoop challenge simply because of so many pieces, but this is something that I could do as a peplum top, just use the peplum top and not the skirt. So I can see many different things that I could do with this pattern. So this may be one that I put on my list to do for the scoop challenge to prioritize and see which ones I will do. This is Simplicity 1650. 
Next one, one, six, five, one. Yes. So on this one, I can actually see myself doing this for the scoop challenge in this V right here with the little uh, back inserts. Um, I can't see myself doing that for the scoop challenge. And once again, this is one, six, five, one. The next one is one, six, five, three. And I seen this from Joann's. One of the Joann's ads back in the days had this pattern on it. And I, that's why I picked it up to be honest. Um, but this is 1653 and I know you have to use knits for this one. It's a mock wrap dress, amazing fit. So if you're interested in this pattern, get it, 1653. I think I have seen this one again in the pattern drawer. I cannot remember, but that's uh, 1653. The next pattern is 1658. And I would not do it for the scoop challenge. This is a nice one. If you have a special occasion, you may want to pick it up. You may still be able to find this one in the pattern drawer because I was able to find this one in the pattern drawer about two, three years ago. Sometimes they do not take them out the pattern drawer once they go out of print. So I'm just saying. The next one I have two of and I have uh, two of them and I'm keeping both of them for different reasons. But this is 1607. It's a Cynthia Rowley pattern. I already know what I want to do with this. I'm debating on if I want to make separate or just sew one complete skirt. But I do have plans on doing view A and make it separate. I already have my fabric picked out and everything. But this is 1607. So this may be something that I might do for the scoop challenge. We will see. The next one, 1610. This is a great summer pattern for a dress. Oh, I'm going to put it on my list. I'm not going to promise you I'm going to get to it. However, this will be on my list to do for the scoop challenge. And we'll see if I'm able to get a lot of these that's going to be on my list done for the scoop challenge. If not, it's not going to be the end of the world. But I will put this one down on my list. And it's 1610. Next one, 1612. This is a great uh day to night type pattern where you can sew one dress for the daytime and then mix it up and sew it for an evening dress and this is 1612. Next one is 1613. This it was um one of the patterns that I used for the Mimi G off the shoulder dress way back in the days. You may still be able to find this pattern at Joann's and it's 1613. Next one is 1615, basic top. I could see myself doing this pattern for the um, scoop challenge. It is an easy to sew pattern. So once again, it is 1615. Next one is 1616. I do not need any more skirts. However, this is an easy skirt that you could probably get it done in, I wanna say two days max. Cut out the pattern and you're good to go. If I do this pattern, I would do it for view E on the pattern. And once again, that's 1616. Next one is 1617. Um, I like the pants on this pattern because it's kind of like a slouchy fit. And it's also an easy to sew pattern. So if I get around to this pattern, it, I would might do it for the scoop challenge. But one thing I will say is I am looking more at view B right here on the pattern to do as some summer uh, pants or lounge pants kind of. So this is 1617 and we'll go on my list. Next one is 1618. I could see this as a summer wood rope builder pattern where you could do the top, the pants and the shorts as a three piece set mixed with some solids, some stripes, some prints and you're good to go. I would not do this for the scoop challenge but this may be a pattern that you're interested in. It is an easy to sew pattern. And once again, that number is 1618. Next one is 1620. Also, this is another wardrobe builder pattern. I can see myself doing every single view on this one. Now, if I decide to do it as a scoop challenge, I would just do it for the cardigan and call it a day. Something simple, something quick, something easy. And it would just really scream summer to me if I do it in a nice fun print or some fun bright stripes or a solid that's a fun light color I think it would scream summer and this one is going on my list for the scoop challenge 
just to do the cardigan and it's 1620. The next one is 1586. I love this dress, however, I would not do this for the scoop challenge for a few reasons, simply because I feel that this one can be a little intimidating for a uh, beginner or even maybe an intermediate, intermediate sewist. Now, I think this one you have to line, if I remember correctly. No, you do not have to line it. But because this looked like something that would scream a business dress to me, I would definitely line this dress. And once again, this is Simplicity 1586. The next one is 1589. This is a learn to sew pattern. It is a basic learning pattern, you know, learn basic skills pattern. So if you are interested, this pattern number is 1589. The next one is on my list to do as a wardrobe builder pattern. It is 1593. I can see myself doing all the views A, B, C, D, and E. This would be one that I would do in like the fall um, as a wardrobe builder pattern to put more pieces in my wardrobe as far as my business side of my closet. So yeah, I can see myself doing this for a pre-fall um, wardrobe and that's 1593. The next one is 1538. Now you guys know that I have sewn this pattern four or five times, honestly. I love this button down shirt pattern. Um, <laughs> would I sew it for the scoop challenge? Maybe, because I have sewn it so many times so I could get it done in one day and be good to go. Um, I have sewn it in black, I have sewn it in gigam, I have sewn it in so many different fabrics. Uh, well. When I say different fabrics, I have sewn it in so many different prints as well as regular. I have sewn it about five times. So this may not be something that I would do for the scoop challenge, but I, I'm leaning towards doing at least one for the scoop challenge. And that's 1538. The next one is 1540. I would not do this for the scoop challenge because it is a coat. I don't need a coat during the summertime, but it may be something that you're interested in. And that's 1540. Next one is 1543. I would not do this for the scoop challenge because I, where I stay, it's not, you know, winter time, but this is fall 2013 and that's 1543. The next one is 1559. This is a easy pattern to do for either the skirt or the, um, the pants. I would do either one. So this is just one of those ones where I may consider doing it for the scoop challenge. It's 1559. All right, so the next pattern is 1499. It is an easy to sew pattern. It is a winter 2013 pattern. Now, one thing, I would not do this for the scoop challenge because it requires a lot of quilting, and I don't have time to be quilting right now for the scoop challenge. Maybe towards the fall, I would do this vest, add some sleeves to it, draft some sleeves for it, and add it to it, and I think that would be amazing but i would not do this for the scoop challenge but it's something that you may be interested in picking up this pattern if you could find it it's 1499 the next one is 1500 this is a nice lovely skirt i've been eyeballing this skirt forever in a day and i'm just wondering if i should go ahead and do it now it came out in winter 2013 and i think this is a basic circle skirt per se and this is 1500 or 1500 the next pattern is one of my favorites um i have had this pattern forever it's 1696 now this pattern reminds me of simplicity 8056 that i sewn about two weeks ago as part of sew it academy so the instructions are pretty much the exact same um there may be one or two things that are slightly different but if you could sew simplicity 8056 you could sew this pattern and be good to go would i do it for the scoop challenge possibly if i decide that i want some more pants shorts bermuda shorts you know whatever um ankle uh pants it would be something that i could consider doing and this is 1696. Next pattern, I showed the other patterns, but I do have 
many of the Simplicity 1538. Most of these are cut. So the reason why I have so many is because I have done two of these patterns for a friend. And then I have done one for me. I did one in a bigger size and one in a smaller size because I wanted one fitted and one not so fitted. So this is why I have so many of this pattern, which is 1538. Now, one thing I wanna mention about this pattern is you could find this pattern. This pattern is a reissue pattern, okay? And one thing with the reissues is you may find the display number of R10697 instead of 1538. It is the exact same pattern. So don't be alarmed if you see this pattern and you're like, hey, I think I have it. It All you have to do is pull out the instructions like this, like so. When you pull out the instructions, it will show you what the pattern number is. All you have to do is just follow the pattern number because it's there for you. But that's all the patterns that I have for simplicity between the time of 2012 and 2013. Well, there you have it. Those are all the patterns that I have for you for Simplicity 2012 to 2013. So like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, keep sewing.